Angel Reese putting on a show at duels. Caitlin Clark with 25 points, 16 rebounds, and the Skies win over the Fever. Reese scored a career high to help Chicago beat Indiana 88-97, despite 17 points and a franchise record 13 assists from Clark on Sunday. Reese is the first rookie since Asia Wilson with 25-plus points and 15-plus rebounds in a single game. I'm a dog. You can't teach that. I'm going to go out and do whatever it takes to win every single night. My teammates rely on my energy. So being able to continue the energy, even if we're down, even if we're up, that's what I, that's what I do. I'm sure there was an opportunity or two for me to probably attempt another shot there quite at the end, but I trust my teammates. Obviously, 13 assists, that means my teammates scored off of 13 of my passes. Like, it's a really great number. Um, so I'm going to give them the ball every time and give them an opportunity to score. I believe in them. Mm. All right, Angel Reese put the sky on her back on Sunday, leading them back from 15 points down to her first pro win over Caitlin Clark. Reese now has eight straight double doubles, Monica McNutt, yep, after indeed. having only one the first month of the season. As you can see, my girl in the building looking like she came straight from the Hamptons. <laughs> I'm trying to, I can't be in camp, can con. I mean, I like you're, you're fancy and you're pulling it off. <laughs> All right, Shay, coming to you first. Based on what they've done on the court, who do you think's the front runner for rookie of the year right now? Is it Angel or Caitlin? Man, they're going to end up being a Jason Kidd and Grant Hill situation. Because Angel Reese was sensational yesterday. Her desire not to lose was greater than the fever desire to win. And sometimes, look, sometimes a team can want it more than the other team. Angel Reese says, we're not losing today. I know you have two victories over me, Caitlin Clark, but not today. Not today. She would not be denied. She dominated the board. 16 rebounds, 25 points. She, she was sensational in the fourth quarter. 10 points, 5 rebounds. They dominated in the paint. But we can't deny Caitlin Clark. Yes, yeah, she's she's not as efficient as she was. She's never been an efficient because she's taken uh, threes from 30 feet away. But she had, what, 17 points, 13 assists. She's doing a great job of distributing the basketball. And neither team is not lighting it up, Monica. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot mm -hmm. easier to define one or the other. If uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Chicago's the eighth seed, and I think the, next, the ninth seed uh, uh, is uh, the fever. Correct. And so right now, just based on it, it's just a small, small sample size. For me, it's a toss-up, but, you know, that's not what we do here, Stephen. you got to pick one or the other. So with that being said, I think I'm going to take Angel Reese right now because those double-doubles, when you do something that a historically great WNBA player like a Candace Parker done, or you've done something like MVP Asia Wilson or MVP uh, 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 Tina Charles, now we're talking because eight consecutive double-doubles? Yeah, right now I'm going to give a slight nod to uh, Angel Reese. I'm proud of you, Unc. I really <laughs> want I really to hear S.A.'s take so that I could come into the middle and allow my expertise to be the judge of okay. both of your cases. I say, may we do that, or would you like me to respond to Shay Shay? I'd like you to respond to it because I don't really disagree with what Shay Shay said. Okay, great. I think, first of all, I think it's imperative that we point out exactly what you said. This race is not a far gone conclusion. <laughs> and I think yeah. coming into this season, Caitlin Clark had the best odds per Vegas to win the award, right? My whole thing coming into this was which one of these rookies, or any rookie, should the race be opened up to dark horse contenders, is going to have the greatest impact on winning. Yesterday on our terrific countdown show, produced by Demetrius Harris, hosted by LaChina Robinson I with my girl Demetrius. Carolyn Peck. We love Demetrius. Yesterday, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, my answer was Caitlin. Because at the time, Indiana held that eighth seed. Now we gotta, right. there's a little bit of detail here. Indiana has played 18 games, Chicago has played 15 games. After last night's contest, or yesterday afternoon's contest, it flips. You would have the sky in the playoffs right now, which means that Angel Reese, in theory, has impacted winning in a greater way. But I think the double-double streak that she's on, the eight um, consecutive double-doubles, for Caitlin, she's leading rookies in points, minutes, and assists. There was terrific stats put out over the weekend by our colleague Michael Vopel about the percentage, about her being the, the player that has seen the most blitzes in the league. And so she's navigating a different level of defensive uh, intensity, and rightfully so, because she's playing a point guard role for this, for this Fever squad. So I think today, today, looking at the standings, you probably tend to lean Angel just a little bit, but Kayla's numbers are fantastic. And I just think this thing is going to be a lot tighter than most folks thought it might have been? Well, a couple of things. Number one, 
Caitlin Clark is on the verge of becoming the first WNBA rookie ever to average 15, 5, and 5. So certainly she deserves to be in a running. You know the eye of the storm is on her. Sometimes you have to take the level of pressure into consideration what you're exposed to, what level of adversity is, is being thrown in your face and how you respond to that. So the worthy consideration that's been thrown in her direction is in all probability because of that. Let's get that out of the way. But like, we, like, Sh like Shannon said, Angel Reese with eight straight double-doubles. She was absolutely sensational yesterday. She was big time. Make no mistake about it. She showed up and showed out and being down by 15 and sparking her team back. I just can't say enough about it. When I think about it, it's a neck and neck race. It's not a foregone conclusion. The fact that Angel Reese is in the mix is a beautiful, beautiful thing with all the notoriety that's been thrown in the direction, Eminem, for, for Caitlin Clark. But that's where I want to go with this. I want to, uh, this is the biggest thing we have to applaud about Angel Reese. She goes out in the midst of all of this pub and notoriety being thrown in the direction of a Caitlin Clark. And Everybody is talking about, yeah, but it's Caitlin Clark and everybody else. Well, Angel Reese said, nah, it ain't Angel it's Caitlin Clark and everybody else. It's me too. And then showed up on national television, showed up last night, and down 15, having already lost two games to Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark already this year, brings her team back puts it on her shoulders, and absolutely positively took over and was talking. Did you see what she did to Steph Curry, shimmy, sitting on sitting on her backside on her yeah, when she went to the floor at the score of the left? I mean, damn, this is what I'm talking about. And so what I want to say, Shay Shay, what I want to say, Eminem, is this. I want to thank Angel Reese for basically doing what I've been begging folks to do. Yeah, Caitlin Clark is getting that notoriety. Let me go out there and use that to take advantage of it myself and show you what the hell I bring to the table. You can roll your eyes all you want to. I say. I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you facts. I'm okay. giving you facts, okay. Eminem. That's what I said. You sat up there and Angel Reese put the female basketball world on notice. Excuse me. I'm going to go at her. I'm going to take it to that team. I'm going to beat them and I'm going to show you I'm just as worthy. That's how you do it. She did exactly that yesterday afternoon, and now we're sitting up here talking about her as a rookie of the year candidate, and damn it, if you got her as your favorite, I don't even mind because they winning some basketball games. She's doing her own damn thing as a rookie. I'm very, very pleased with Angel Reese, who's just doing her thing. You go ahead, girl. Keep on doing it. That's what I'm talking about. And the world is benefiting because we're going to watch them when they play again in late August. We're going to watch. And by the way, when Caitlin Clark goes up against Diana Taurasi, just like Diana Taurasi was talking before the season started, oh, you think we going to miss that game this weekend? When they roll up, yeah, roll up against Phoenix? Oh, we're going to be watching oh. that too. That's right. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> and then go out there and back it up and yeah. bust her living you know what. Hey. If that's what you got to do, hey. that's what it's all about. Listen, I just need a promise from you two men that I respect and admire. Should either of those games that you just highlighted that are coming down the pipe include a flagrant foul, that is a basketball play. We still gonna talk about the basketball of it all and not fouls because my favorite part of this outcome was that we have a chance to talk about the basketball. You saw two young teams that frankly y'all are yeah. gonna be fighting for the eighth spot, which is the bottom of the postseason, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. They're building, you but you saw two young teams put their best foot forward in a competitive ball game that the whole country could get behind. Uh, see, 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 that's basketball. right there where you get in trouble. That's right there where you get in trouble. Now, now, now this is where you get in trouble, Eminem, all right? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm walking I'm, off today, don't your, feel your, me. Big, your big bro trying to look out for you now. This is where you get in trouble. I understand, everybody and their mother knows five, five people gotta be on the court at the time to play the game, but who we think about? We only we think about two people, Shay Shay. I mean, Eminem, that's what we think. We're, not, we're not thinking about anybody else on the sky. We ain't thinking about anybody else on the fever. All we're thinking about right now, you know, is Tell two me. great teams, ah, whatever. They're, they're, they're good teams. They ain't great. They ain't, they ain't the aces. They ain't the liberty. Let's put it in perspective. Hey, what, you were trying to act like this wasn't a rivalry, arguing that with me you, the other you, day, what, these two. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? 
No, no, no. What I'm saying to you is that it's Ooh. about Angel Reese and Caitlyn and and yes. and, and, yeah. and Molly. You're absolutely right. I did say that. Yeah. And then I told you Angel it was, Reese, Stephen A. Start listening to me. Will you will you listen? <laughs> will you listen? You asked me to listen been, to you. Will I've nobody listen. listening? Will I've you say, listen? I've been, I've I'm just been saying to you. Listen I'm for just 23 saying minutes. to you. Yo, actually, that's not true. Because we were talking hockey. Don't Love tell you me I was talking time. Keep that's going. That's a damn liar. Okay, <laughs> all I'm saying is this. Tell You're talking you about Angel Hi. Reese. Angel Reese with that talking. That's what makes it what it is they in the game to back it up. Talk? It's that talking. Yeah. He, I love he it. He had a debate. Are they, it's like the it. greatest new sports rivalry. And he was saying no based on position, that kind of thing. And I was like, no, this is a rivalry to me. So we had a debate about that. Got it. But okay. he's saying well, she's I, making it because of the trash talking. Listen, we actually, so we actually had a chance to ask both of them pregame yeah. about the rivalry. And they both have very... Um, differing of opinions of it. Are, are, no, 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 not differing, Shay Shay. They were... They both agree that it's great for the sport. Like, they haven't right. made it a personal thing, yeah. but they right. know that the eyeballs show up when they're about to play. Well, here's the thing. This start, just, like Ma just like Magic and Bird, it started in college in the national championship game. And it just so happens, Magic got drafted to the Lakers, Bird went to the Celtics, which was the most contested rival in the NBA. And so now you got a situation where Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, they've already played on numerous occasions. One time for the national championship, the next time, if I'm not mistaken, I think Caitlin Clark might have knocked them out of the playoffs. So with, with that being said, yes, you come to the WNBA. Angel Reese, this is how we know. Joe Burrow has a lot of wins, but they, there's more to the wins in which he beat Patrick Mahomes than mm -hmm. any other quarterback. Caitlin Clark has all the shine. When I played against somebody that was getting shine, I'm trying to show you up because if I show you up, Guess who y'all going to be talking about? Y'all going to be talking now. about your boy and how I put something on you. <laughs> so that's what Angel Reese. Monica, and I will say this. I thought both young ladies, young ladies could have success because yep. they could uh, – Caitlin Clark could score and she could assist the basketball. Yep. Angel Reese could score and, she'll, so she could, and she could rebound the basketball. Yep. So if you take one of those options away, they could do the other and still impact the ball game. What people are trying to make you do – that if you like Caitlin Clark, you got to hate Angel Reese. If you like Angel Reese, you got to yeah. hate Caitlin Clark. And I'm not going to let y'all do that. No. Y'all not finna get on Shannon no. there. Oh, no, y'all get him. I, 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 I agree with you, Shannon. That's a good point. You're unified. It's the truth. It's the truth, Shannon. Okay? <laughs>